so this is do you know what type of arena this is okay so with the letters and with it being in a rectangle like this this is called a dressage arena okay so there's a couple different points all right so we've got the short side which is where c is okay and we have the long side which is where b is okay so we've got a couple different things about it so it's 20 by 40 meters okay that's how every dressage arena is now when you start going to the upper levels they'll be a little bit bigger but for right now we're just going to worry about 20 by 40 okay so when i say 20 meters which side do you think that is the small side okay and then what about 40 meters the long side yep heels down there you go so when i say um what would be your letters on the short side and what else okay and then what about your letters on the long side Yeah, so normally, and we don't have it, but normally there's a letter E right there. Let me go put it. Ooh. So we've got the letter E, which is across from B. Okay. And then what about our corners? What four corners do we have? Yep, so that's H. Normally we would have M in this corner. Okay, and then we have F. And then we have uh, K. Okay, so what are the four corners? Yep, that's K. That's F and H. Yep, down there. Yep, those are our corners. Okay, so when we're on our arena, we have what's called being on the rail or being on the outside, which is where you are. It's right here. Okay, and then we have a straight line right here, which is called the quarter line. Okay, so there's one right here, and there's one over there. And then what is the line between A and C called? Close, it's called the center line. Okay, so what are our three lines? Yep, yep. And then the other thing that we can do is we can have what are called diagonals, which are from corner to corner. Okay, so you have F and H, and then you would have M and K. All right, okay. So, how far, okay. So how far is our, how, what is the length of our short side? 20 meters, so where, what is a length from center line to the rail? Center line is half, 10, okay? So when we say, let's do a 10 meter circle, show me what a 10 meter circle looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, and keep turning. There you go. Yep, and you're gonna go all the way and touch the rail. Yep, keep turning. Very nice. So how big of that circle was that? 10 meters, all right. So at A, let me see a 20 meter circle. Yep, so you're gonna start turning and you're gonna hit that post right next to K. Good. And then you're actually gonna come way out here. 20 meter circles are really big, okay? And then you're gonna go and touch that post, and then you're gonna touch A again. 
All right. Whoa! You gotta go all. The, you see that line? Kind of making this big of a turn here, and then to A. All right. So let's try that again. Let me see a 20 meter circle at A. Good. So you're gonna touch that post out there. Touch the post a little closer to the rail. Closer to the rail. Voila. And then you're gonna touch way out there. Good job. You're gonna go over here. All right. Very, very nice lady. So another math question. If this is a 20 meter circle and our length is 40 meters, how many circles can we fit? Smaller, two, okay? So just like A to C is halfway, B to E is halfway, okay? So this kind of makes a T right here. So what do you think this spot right here in the middle of all this cross is called? It's called X. So yep, it's the exact center of your arena. So when you say to touch X, that's what that means. You want to touch the middle of the arena. So here at C, let's do a 20 meter circle. All right. And be sure to touch X. So it's the same exact thing like we did on the other side. There you go. Very nice. And find X. Very good, lady. There you go. And yep. Alrighty. So at where our M would be, over here, let me see you go across your diagonal. Okay. 